Hello and welcome to the 11 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrick. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Al Safriya Palace the members of the Royal Family Council marking the 20th anniversary of the National Action Charter. The guests extended good wishes to His Majesty, expressing pride in the achievements attained by the kingdom across all fields under His Majesty's leadership. They praised His Majesty's efforts in enhancing the kingdom's relations with friendly countries as well as its international standing, praying to Allah the Almighty to guide His Majesty and to bless him with abundant health and happiness. To continue the progress march of the kingdom, His Majesty exchanged good wishes on the national occasion, expressing thanks and appreciation to them for their sentiments. His Majesty recalled the historic honorable stances of the loyal Bahraini people, which met the aspirations of Bahrainis through an unprecedented consensus that embodied Bahrain as all-inclusive identity and their aspirations for more development and progress. He affirmed that the fundamentals of the National Action Charter with a renewed spirit and promising vision will remain catalysts for more national building, progress and consolidation of the role of the legislative institutions and opening up wider horizons for popular participation according to an advanced democratic approach. His Majesty expressed his pride in the Bahraini people's dedication in serving the national action process, praising the major role they are playing to strengthen the kingdom's leadership at all levels and affirming that the Bahraini citizens will always remain the focus of the national development process and his ultimate goal. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Safriya Palace the Speaker of the Council of Representatives Fawzi Zainal, the Chairman of the Shura Council Ali Saleh, and the President of the Court of Cassation and Deputy President of the Supreme Judicial Council Abdullah bin Hassan Al Buainin. The personal representative of His Majesty the King, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and the Minister of the Royal Court Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed Al Khalifa were present. The guests extended their greetings to His Majesty on the occasion of the 20th anniversary of the National Action Charter. They expressed their pride in the wise leadership of His Majesty the King, as well as the achievements of the Kingdom under his reign, as it contributes to the progress and prosperity of citizens. They prayed for the ongoing good health of His Majesty and continued stability and prosperity for Bahrain. His Majesty affirmed that the National Action Charter will continue to guide the development and democratic processes in order to achieve further progress and development. He praised the achievements of the legislative authority through legislation and various other contributions to the development process and in defense of the country, where the principal principles of justice, equality, rights and freedom are ensured. His Majesty affirmed the importance of cooperation between the legislative and executive authorities to achieve further progress for the Kingdom, which will be carried forward by future generations. He called on the people to continue to be united, cooperative and hardworking in order to affirm the pioneering status of the Kingdom in all international forms. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received the South Korean Parliament Speaker Park Byung Song, who is currently visiting the kingdom. He conveyed to His Majesty the greetings of the Korean President Moon Jae in and the Prime Minister Chung Si Kyun on their wishes of progress and development for the kingdom. His Majesty also conveyed his greetings and good wishes to the President and Prime Minister of Korea and his wishes of further progress and prosperity to the Korean people. His Majesty underscored the depth of relations of friendship and cooperation between in Bahrain and Korea, noting their development in various fields. He noted the importance of such visits that contribute to expanding the horizons of cooperation and joint action at the economic investment development and cultural levels and benefiting from the experiences of the two countries in the legislative and parliamentary fields. He emphasized that the Kingdom looks forward to strengthening existing partnerships and benefiting from the capabilities of the two countries in supporting projects and programs to achieve mutual benefits. Ismashi also praised the pivotal role 
role of Korea in its Asian and international surroundings in light of its achievements on the economic, industrial and development levels. He expresses appreciation for the contribution of the Korean community to the process of construction and development in the kingdom. For his part, Park congratulated His Majesty on the 20th anniversary of the National Action Charter, wishing him good health and happiness and the kingdom further progress and prosperity. He also congratulated His Majesty on the Abraham Accord Declaration with the State of Israel for the sake of achieving security and peace in the region. During the meeting, a number of regional and international issues of common interest were discussed. In addition to the coronavirus developments and the efforts of the two countries to combat it and deal with its repercussions. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from the representative of His Majesty the King for humanitarian work and youth affairs His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa on the occasion of the 20th anniversary of the National Action Charter. His Highness hailed the role of His Majesty the King and praised the reform project of His Majesty the King in which it represent or presented the kingdom as a model of democracy, openness, coexistence, justice and freedom. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from First Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council of Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, on the occasion of the 20th anniversary of the National Action Charter. His Highness hailed the role of His Majesty the King and praised the reform project of His Majesty the King, in which it presented the kingdom as a model of democracy, openness, coexistence, justice, and freedom. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from the Deputy Prime Minister, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa, on the occasion of the 20th anniversary of the National Action Charter. His Highness hailed the role of His Majesty the King and praised the reform project of His Majesty the King. He also praised the numerous achievements of the kingdom in all fields which meet the aspirations of His Majesty the King and the people of Bahrain towards achieving further progress and prosperity. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from the Deputy Prime Minister His Highness Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa on the occasion of the 20th anniversary of the National Action Charter. Deputy Prime Minister hailed His Majesty's uh, far-sighted vision, adding that the Charter represents a source of pride for the loyal people of Bahrain. His Highness hailed the role of His Majesty the King and praised the reform project of His Majesty the King. He wished His Majesty the King lasting good health and happiness. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from the Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa on the occasion of the 20th anniversary of the National Action Charter. He praised the achievements of the Kingdom and the forward march of Bahrain under the leadership of His Majesty the King. He wished His Majesty lasting good health and happiness and for the people of Bahrain further progress and prosperity. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from the Minister of the Royal Court, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmad Al Khalifa, on the occasion of the 20th anniversary of the National Action Charter. The Minister congratulated His Majesty on this national occasion, affirming that the National Action Charter reflects the reform vision of His Majesty the King. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from the BDF Commander in Chief, Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmad Al Khalifa, on the 20th anniversary of the National Action Charter. The BDF Commander said that on this historic day, Bahrain will remain a source of pride for the civilizational project and the great national gains it has achieved. It also, or he also highlighted the National Action Charter's outstanding landmark, which embodies patriotism and Bahrain's glorious history. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa issued Edict 9 of the year 2021 to appoint an official to represent the Water Resources Council at the Legislative Authority. The first article of the Edict states that the Minister of Electricity and Water Affairs is the official responsible before the two councils of the Legislative Authority on behalf of the Water Resources Council. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister received a cable of congratulations from the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, on the 20th anniversary of the National Action Charter. His Highness said that this occasion presents the Kingdom as a model of democracy, openness, coexistence, justice and freedom. He praised the Kingdom's numerous achievements on the regional and international levels.
His Royal Highness, the current Prince and Prime Minister, received a cable of congratulations uh, from the first Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council of Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, on the 20th anniversary of the National Action Charter. His Highness said that this occasion presents the kingdom as a model of democracy, openness, coexistence, justice, and freedom. His Highness praised the kingdom's numerous achievements, especially in the field of youth and sports, which praised the status of Bahrain on the regional and international levels. His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received a cape of congratulations from the Deputy Prime Minister, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa, on the 20th anniversary of the National Action Charter. The Deputy Premier said that the charter, which was endorsed by a sweeping consensus, ushered further progress and prosperity for the kingdom. His Highness wished His Royal Highness continued good health and the Kingdom of Bahrain further progress and prosperity under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received a cable of congratulations from the Deputy Prime Minister, His Highness Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, on the 20th anniversary of the National Action Charter. His Highness recalled His Royal Highness's pivotal role as Chairman of the Committee in Charge of Activating the Charter, which represented a milestone that paved the way for further achievements in this crucial phase in the history of modern Bahrain. His Highness pledged to continue to work to implement the roadmap, which was initiated by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, ushering wide-ranging development strides in the prosperous era of His Majesty the King. His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received a cable of congratulations from the Deputy Prime Minister, Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, on the 20th anniversary of the National Action Charter. The Deputy Premier said that the Charter ushered further progress and prosperity for the Kingdom under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and with the support of His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. He affirmed that the National Action Charter continues to guide the Kingdom Tower's further achievements in the spirit of unity. His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received a cable of congratulations from the BDF Commander-in-Chief, Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmad Al Khalifa, on the 20th anniversary of the National Action Charter. The Commander-in-Chief affirmed that the Charter would serve as the framework for further development and progress, facilitates the attainment of Bahrain's development goals shaped by His Majesty the King's visions. He concluded by wishing His Royal Highness continued good health and the people of Bahrain further progress and prosperity. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, expressed his pleasure with the victory of Bahrain victorious team member Phil Bauhaus in the final stage of Tour de la Provence held in France. He stated that this achievement reflects the team's commitment to the technical and administrative body's plans. His Highness underscored the numerous achievements of Bahrain victorious, which are in line with Bahrain's economic vision 2030. He added that Bahrain will continue to participate in such international events to promote the name of the kingdom. He also praised the efforts of biker Phil Bauhaus and his outstanding performance. His Highness wished Bahrain victorious further success in future competitions. An official parliamentary session was held in the Representatives Council shared by Speaker Fauzi Zainal and the South Korean Parliament Speaker Park byung sung joint parliament sport was emphasized to strengthen Bahraini-Korean cooperation and bolster the deep-rooted friendly relations in light of the support of the two countries' leaderships. A cooperation agreement was signed between the two councils with the aim of exchanging expertise in physics as well as studies and reports and holding bilateral projects and programs in addition to coordinating parliamentary positions in regional and international forms. During the session, Zainal conveyed the greetings of His Majesty the King to the Korean parliamentary delegation and his wishes of success to bolstering joint relations between the two friendly countries. She also hailed the stance of Korea in supporting the kingdom's security and stability and rejecting foreign interventions and terrorist acts that threaten the, re the region's security and prosperity. For his part, Park expressed his pride in the deep-rooted fraternal relations between the two countries, emphasizing that his country aspires to advance close relations and strengthen parliamentary cooperation between the two councils. He extended a generous invitation to the Speaker of the Representatives Council to visit Korea in the coming period.
The chairman of the Shura Council, Ali Saleh, received the Speaker of the South Korean Parliament, Park Byung Sung, and his accompanying delegation. As Saleh praised the progress of friendship and cooperation between Bahrain and Korea, stressing the Shura Council's interest in supporting and developing these relations, including parliamentary relations. He welcomed the Speaker, which comes in exceptional circumstances, indicating the depth of the relations between the two friendly countries. He noted the Kingdom's keenness on bolstering relations with Korea, recalling the visit of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa to Korea, where a number of agreements in various fields were signed. For his part, Park praised the role of His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince in developing the kingdom. He also expressed his aspirations to strengthen parliamentary relations for the benefit of the two countries, in addition to expanding cooperation to new areas, including energy and combating the coronavirus. The chairman of the Shura Council, Ali Al Saleh, shared the weekly meeting remotely, where the council discussed Decree 29 of the year 2018 regarding issuing a maritime law that allows Bahrain to benefit from its geographical location. The law will also contribute to attracting local and global investments in order to achieve further progress and prosperity. The National Action Charter is one of the pillars that laid the foundation for democracy and the advancement of the legislative sector. The Shura Council member, Dr. Mohammed Ali Hassan, joined us earlier to share his thoughts on this national achievement. Uh, on February 14, 2001, exactly 20 years ago, the country starts an amazing chapter of its history when His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa participated with his people of Bahrain by endorsing a remarkable legal instrument, the National Action Charter. Since then, Bahrain entered an important era of legislation. The Shura Council member, Ms. Hala Ramzi, also shared her thoughts on the occasion. Of course, uh, one of the most important achievements of the kingdom in the past two decades, and one that gives us great pride, is the launch of a new era of political and democratic reform within a modern constitutional monarchy. Uh, the rule of law based on justice and transparency, the separation of legislative, executive, and judicial powers, and their cooperation in accordance with the Constitution. Marking the 20th anniversary of the National Action Charter, the Ambassador of India to the Kingdom of Bahrain, Mr. Piyush Srivastava, sent a video message extending congratulations to the Kingdom of Bahrain. I extend warm greetings and felicitations to His Majesty the King, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, the government and people of Bahrain on the occasion of 20th anniversary of the National Action Charter of the Kingdom of Bahrain. We all have seen Bahrain's successful handling of COVID-19 pandemic, led by His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister himself. The leadership and government of Bahrain has taken excellent care of its citizens as well as expatriates alike, whether in terms of providing medical and other assistance or inclusion in the vaccination drive. Meanwhile, the ambassador extraordinary and uh, plenipotentiary of, the South, of South Korea to Bahrain, Mr. Hai Kwang Shong, commended the achievements made in the Kingdom of Bahrain thanks to the pillars of the National Action Charter and highlighted his pride in Bahraini-Korean relations. I would like to extend my sincere congratulations on the 20th anniversary of the National Action Charter to the leadership and the people of the Kingdom of Bahrain. I understand this occasion is very significant. I am very honored to be celebrating this historic occasion and also I am very much looking forward to building up and strengthening our bilateral ties and also partnership between the Republic of Korea and Kingdom of Bahrain. I wish Bahrain long-lasting peace and prosperity in many years to come. For his part, the ambassador of the Kingdom of Thailand to the Kingdom of Bahrain, Mr. Thanis Na Songkla, also expressed good wishes in a video message to the Kingdom of Bahrain, marking the 20th anniversary of the National Action Charter. First of all, I would like to congratulate Bahrain Bahraini people for the 20th anniversary of the Charter. I read the story about the Charter of the Nation. This is the... Um, 
wise guidance under the His Majesty the King Hamid that uh, initiate the charter and receive much more and well support from the Bahraini people 20 years ago. And with the charter, it make Bahrain to move forward and much more progressive in any other area. The U.S. Embassy made a statement in which it congratulated the Kingdom of Bahrain's leadership and its people on the occasion of the 20th anniversary of the National Action Charter. It said that the charter represented a cornerstone in promoting social, economic and political development and that it recognizes the achievements of the Bahraini people as well as the shared interests and values between the two countries. It added that the U.S. values the strong strategic partnership with Bahrain under the leadership of His Majesty the King in all fields and that it looks forward to developing developing it further. The International Monetary Fund hailed in a statement the steps taken by the Kingdom of Bahrain in alleviating the impacts resulting from the pandemic, placing the health and safety of citizens and residents at the top priority. The statement affirmed that the decisions made by the Kingdom contributed to curb the spread of the virus through the provisions of free vaccinations and supporting affected sectors. The statement added that the Kingdom will continue its steps in facing the pandemic in order to achieve the aspired goals, including achieving physical balance balance in order to enhance economic growth. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 9,720 citizens and residents had taken the vaccine, bringing the total number of vaccinated individuals to 242,260. The ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccination. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of coronavirus cases reached 7,217 with 609 recoveries and 790 registered new cases and five deaths. 264 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 511 are contacts of active cases and 15 are travel related. The Ministry expresses its heartfelt condolences to the families of the deceased and urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus.